In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Ads remarketing lists. With Google Ads, remarketing is awesome because you can drive high intent users to your website with Google search, but then you can remarket to them on the Google Display Network and on YouTube. So remarketing is a really powerful way to improve the performance of your campaigns, especially you know for lead generation, for e-commerce, for just about everything. So the first step to do that is to set up your remarketing lists, and let's do that. So in order to set up Google Ads remarketing lists, you're going to need your Google Ads account open and also Google Tag Manager. So from within your Google Ads account, you're going to go to Tools and Settings and then go to Shared Library and then go to Audience Manager here. From within this section, you'll be able to install your Google Ads remarketing tag and then set up your audiences as well. So this is actually a new account that I set up a couple of months ago for myself that I have not actually set this up yet. So this will be a good example going through the process. So the first step is to go to here, your data sources. And this is where you'll find your Google tag. And we see that it's not correctly installed. So this will be our opportunity to fix that. So you're going to want to go here to details about your tag. And then if you go down here to tag setup, Google tag manager, you're going to need this conversion ID. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and go control C, copy that. Now within tag manager, we're going to create a new tag. So I'm within the tag section here. I'm going to create new and I'm going to call this Gads remarketing tags tag. So that's the naming convention I like for Google ads. So I'm going to call it like that. I'm going to go tag configuration. And I'm going to select this one here, Google Ads Remarketing. We already have the conversion linker installed, which is good. And I'll explain that in a second. But we're going to put the conversion ID here. Otherwise, you can leave all of these settings the same. If you're running e-commerce and you wanted to do dynamic remarketing, there is some advanced configuration that needs to be done here. But for simply setting up remarketing lists based on website page visitors, you don't need to change anything. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to trigger. So this is saying, when do you want this tag to fire? Well, we want this remarketing to tag to fire on all pages. So we're going to, we set it up here, we put it to all pages, and then we're going to click save. That's how you set up your Google ads remarketing tag. You're going to want to be sure to go publish at the submit button up here to push that tag to your website. So we've just set up our Google Ads remarketing tag on our website. If you wanted to verify, you could go to your website. You can install the Google Chrome extension called Google Tag Assistant Legacy. This will let you see all the tags that are on your website. So I've refreshed my website page, and now I can see here that our remarketing tag that we just set up correctly fired. That's what this green smiley face says. So now we know that our remarketing tag is correctly installed. So the next step is to go into this audience section to create our remarketing lists. So we're going to go here to audiences and then segments. It's actually just segments. <laughs> so we're going to go to go here to the segment section, and then we're going to go to click this plus to create a new audience. So we're going to go create audience. We're going to use website visitors and here, it's a rule based system. So depending on your website and depending on your goals, you can set up remarking list as you like. In this example, I'm going to do all website visitors. And I actually like to give it a name like this, just so I know that this list was created in Google ads rather than imported from analytics, just for, to help find them later. Um, so I'm going to go GADS, all website visitors, vi visitors of website pages. And I'm going to select 90 days in this case here because my website doesn't get a lot of traffic. So I'm going to select 90 days. If you have a website that gets a lot of traffic, you might want to have different strategies for 30 days and 90 days. So that would make sense to create multiple lists based on your needs. So we're going to go ahead and basically publish it. In this case, I'm going to use yes, pre-fill it with people from the last 30 days. And here you can add a description. So I'm going to call this all website visitors. 90 days. In this case, the name itself is pretty descriptive up here. But if you have a more complicated list, it makes a lot of sense to put some details here. So then we're going to go ahead and click create segment. 
So now we've actually created a remarketing list of users in 90 days. So people will stay within this list for 90 days and then they'll fall out of it. So if you want to hold people in a list for longer, you can create a list at the maximum duration, which is 540 days. Um, otherwise you can use 30, 90, and this is all website visitors. So now I'll just do another example showing if you wanted to target specific pages on your website only. So if we go to create a new list here, website visitors, let's say here, we're going to call this product page visitors. So depending on your website, it'll be set up differently, but this is the methodology you could use. So I'm going to do this 90 days, visitors of website pages, website visit in 90 days but we're going to refine the action. So what we're saying is not any web page visit, it needs to be specific web pages. So here we can create rules. So depending on your website, you can create the rule based on how your URL structure is. So I'm going to use page URL contains slash product. All my products use this type of uh, naming convention. So I'm just gonna do it like this slash product, and this will capture a remarketing list based on all of your product pages. And then um, essentially I would keep this as the default and then I would go create segment. So now I've just created two remarketing lists, but you can see that you can play with this to really craft it to your needs. That's really the power of these Google ads remarketing lists. So you've done it. They're set up. Hope this helped. So you've just set up your Google ads remarketing list. The one thing you want to be careful of is when you set up your campaigns, you want to make sure that you're targeting the list and not using them as an observation audience. So there's a big difference. If you have it as an observation audience, it's just going to be monitoring it to see how it performs, but it's actually going to be a really broad audience. So you're going to want to make sure you're using target targeting, and that's going to be sure that your ads are only shown to people who are within those remarketing lists. So remarketing is uh, it's a really great addition to your campaigns. It helps you stay top of mind with people who are still in the consideration and decision phase. So when users are searching for solutions or products and services, they're often comparing multiple companies. They're looking for companies that fit their needs, companies that look re reputable, companies uh, at the right price point. People are conducting research. So you definitely want to stay top of mind while they're in that phase. And remarketing time and time again will lead to lower conversion rates and it'll help close deals that you would otherwise lose. So it's an important part of a Google Ads strategy. I hope this helped.